Hey everyone, welcome to Shay Rants. Today I am joined by my boy Super Nice. Welcome to the channel. What's up, man? I appreciate you having me on again. Thank, thanks, thanks for coming on. I, I, I do appreciate it. Oh yeah, man, anytime. Um, of course. Um, and, you know, we've done something similar to this on Sippin's channel. We did, like, best and worst horror of the year so far, like the first half of the year, like January to July. I know a lot of people in that comment section didn't <laughs> get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah um, sure. Nice plug, by so, the way. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, check, check those out. Um, what corner? Oh, this, this corner. Oh, no, wrong corner. Um, <laughs> Oh, Just no, in case, put it in all four corners. <laughs> all four corners, yes. Yeah. Um, but there, so, this video was actually requested by Billy Smith. So, hello, Billy. Um, thank you for requesting this video. Um, who wrote, hey, I'm not really the biggest Halloween movie buff, but I was wondering if you could create a video on your recommendations and what to watch for this Halloween season. So, I was like, well, my brain's not braining today, so I gotta get this out fast as well. So um, let me let me bring Stephen onto this. Um, so yeah, and that's how this video came to be. So thank you, Billy, for suggesting this. Um, thank shout you, out Billy. To Billy and um, let's get into this. So beginning with my number five, we have The Shining. It's a phenomenal movie. It's really cool. I, I was actually wearing a shining shirt yesterday. Um, and yeah. I'm literally recreating the shining poster at college. My glasses are all fogged up. Um, <laughs> and um, oh, there we go. I can see again. Um, pretty much, I love this film so much. It's a great thing to watch, watch on Halloween, or I guess around the Halloween time, just October. Because it's got some good scares in there. It's got a good amount of blood, if you think of it. Like, not gore kind of blood, but just, like, blood in general <laughs> coming out of the yeah, elevator. Yeah, yeah. that elevator and, scene in particular. <laughs> yeah. Well, just a little bit of... Just, uh, just a little um, bit. Uh. <laughs> a little bit of blood. <laughs> um, and it's got a sick score. Like, the score for The Shining is one of my favorites in any horror movie. It's so good. Oh yeah, big time, big time. Um, I also yeah, think the cast in that movie seven. is. I but real quick, I also think that the cast in that movie is phenomenal yeah. as well. Jack Nicholson uh, and Shelley Duvall, rest in peace to her because you know she recently passed. Yeah. But I mean that cast in that movie is just stellar. You know, they, there's a bunch of iconic scenes oh, in that yeah. movie that even a lot of people that don't like horror movies know. They know like. You know, here's Johnny. You know, everybody knows that scene, yeah. regardless it's if you've even up. watched the movie. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, that's a solid number five. Yeah. For me, my number five is uh, probably another solid movie, I'm sure. At least in my opinion, it's very solid. For me, I have The Thing. The John Carpenter oh, yeah. Thing. That movie the... is just spectacular. Yeah, it, it's it's so good. Yeah, it's just the the whole the premise of it is is just fun, you know. And obviously, if you have no no idea going in, you know, it's a little more of a it's a sci fi movie. And I know that's kind of like a a taste not everybody has on horror. But if you like that kind of thing, then I think this could be the movie for you because it's just great. Again, another stellar cast, and it's just the back and forth of what's going to happen, and then the ending itself. I won't say. You know, because this is hopefully, you know, hopefully Billy sees this. And if he hasn't seen the movie, then they'll know to go check it out. So I'm not going to spoil it just in case. Yeah. But the ending's crazy. The ending's really, really good. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, I, I it's recommend probably it. one of my like, favorite horror movies. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Also, just one of the best horror movies ever made. You know, I got Max. a thing poster just up there, just next to the Killer Clowns one, just off screen, sadly. But, there is Heck one there. Yeah. But yeah, moving on to our number fours. My number four is going to be Trick or Treat. You know, it's a great little Halloween anthology movie. It's it's a rate of 15 here in the UK, and we know how strict rating boards are over here. So as long as you're 15 and up, go, go watch it. What, what are you doing? Go, go check it out. 
Um, <laughs> or if you're in the US, I guess, if you're anyways, just watch it because they probably wouldn't care. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know, at this point, I'm thinking about just flying there to watch Terrifier 3 in like Facts. seven days. Oh, yeah. Terrifier 3, yeah, that's on the upcoming list, dude. I'm so excited about that. Yeah. But, yeah, um, moving on to um, your number four. So, for me, my number four, I got two options just in case. Because they said they're not really huge into horror, I wanted to have a backup option just in case. But my number four is Terrifier 2. Yeah. And you know, I have a backup just in case because this movie is extremely gory. And for someone that's not used to horror, it might be a little jarring. But Terrifier 2, you know, the the story of it isn't the selling point. It's Art the Clown themselves, the antagonist. The 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 way oh, yeah. David Howard Thornton portrays that character is one of the creepiest and one of the best performances of like a iconic killer in like the last decade almost like he's, he's only had two movies in that franchise so far but he's already becoming an iconic killer whereas other people yeah. needed multiple movies you know it's just i could really see with after terrifier 3 you know he's going to become even more of a household name but with that being said i have a backup option just in case gore isn't your thing you know being if you're new to horror just in case my other option is it the 2017 movie it you know, you obviously, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it pairs it up with another clown movie. But I mean, it chapter one and chapter two are both really good. I prefer chapter one better, but that's me. And plus, obviously, if you're going to watch chapter two, you, you need to watch the first one first, you know, because they play into each other. But it's a really well, yeah. well told story. The kid actors are phenomenal. I don't remember all their names. Uh, I know the Stranger Things kids in it, but I don't remember most of their names. Yeah. But they all did you know, stellar performances and stuff like that. And even like the Henry Bowers, like bully gang, you know, they did really well. So it's just, it's a really good movie and it's just one you could just kind of turn on and kind of have fun with it because if you're afraid of clowns, Pennywise the clown in here is pretty freaky looking. Bill Skarsgård killed that role. Yeah. Yeah, Pennywise and Art the Clown are both pretty, pretty scary. Um, I'd say Art's, Art's a bit more scary than Pennywise, you know, for obvious oh, yeah. reasons. <laughs> yeah, obvious um, reasons why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a full-fledged psychopathic murderer with no reason at all, whereas Pennywise yeah, yeah. is just space being that gets, exactly. that gets like, beaten by being bullied. <laughs> Spoiler alert, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not it's, it's a joke. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, so moving on to my number three, I have a personal favorite, which I don't have a backup for. I'm sorry because it's personal, but I'll throw in the backup. It's it's only slightly less gory than this. Um, so <laughs> my number three <laughs> is gonna be the OG Hostel movie. <laughs> as soon I'll as you said it's a little less gory, I knew exactly what movie you had here. <laughs> One of his favorites, and it's a little less gory than Terrifier. Okay, I know exactly where he's going. Oh, no, 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 The backup for this movie is a little less gory than Hostel. Oh, okay. Yeah, similar time, though, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, um, it's just so, like, so different from a lot of, like, movies now and a lot of movies back then. Like, this was, like, one of the firsts for, like, Torture corn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> way to word it. Way to word it. Smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Replace the C with a P and you get like what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and I just think it's such a cool movie. It was one of my first horror movies. You know, I'm going to have a bias. But like, either way, it's just such a cool story. Like, you get to learn to hate these guys when you see them being brutally murdered and tortured. <laughs> like, it's such a yeah. cool storyline. And there's there's a really cool twist in that, which I don't know if you want to say, but something to do with the characters. There's a pretty cool twist in there where you kind of expect yeah. something, but it's actually the, going to be the other way around. Yeah, it's the complete opposite of what you expect. Yeah. So, let's hit yeah, that back but, up. 
<laughs> so my backup, slightly less gory than Hostel, but still pretty, pretty gory. Um, I have the OG <laughs> Saw movie, which I <laughs> another in that same which, category, <laughs> which I was gonna actually like make my dad watch because he agreed to watching like a load of like horror movies with me this October. Um. I remember like the reverse bear trap scene, the wire scene, and stuff like that. And I'm just like, okay, maybe I should swap this out for something else. So I'm going to show him <laughs> Freaky instead because at least that's a gory movie that's fun. Freaky is fine too. Um, Freaky's fine. Yeah. Plus, it's rated a 15. He can't burn at me. Um, either <laughs> way, though. Um, yeah, so it's a phenomenal little, like, it's the original's not really as horror as you expect for like. It's also, you know, even though I was just talking about it being gory, it's not as gory as the sequels or even the new one. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Like, the first one is the most different out of all of them. All the other ones from 2 to 10, they're all they're all the same in a way. You know, there's multiple people in either one big trap or multiple traps, and they're very intense on the gore. You know, they go a yeah. little more crazy with the gore. Whereas one, you got your primary trap with, you know, like the detective side plot and everything. And it's just, it's a lot more toned down a little bit in the gore department as compared to yeah. the rest. But if you've never seen any of them, the first one is gory in its own way until you start seeing the other ones. You go, like, okay, the first one wasn't as gory as I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what, what's your number three? So my number three was Trick or Treat, but since you already said that, I decided to change it up a little bit, so that way we get a few more recommendations out there. So for yeah. me, my number three is going to be Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. So it's, <laughs> not, it's, yeah. 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 it's technically right after the Halloween season, yeah. but it could be considered in that fall you know, time. You know, it's, it's still in the same season as fall, just not in the Halloween season. Yeah. So, like, you got the same, you know, you got the leaves falling off the trees. You got everything still feeling like that, that kind of vibe. And it's, I I have, like, uh, I have, like, a little love for slashers and whodunits in particular. They're some of my favorite horror movies ever. I love the the mystery of, oh, trying to piece together while the movie's playing. Who's doing it? Oh, this, this here's the red herring, but is it actually them or, and whatnot? Yeah. And it's just, it's a really well done movie. And, you know, you got some cool people in the cast. You got, you know, Patrick Dempsey, you know, Scream yeah. 3, shout out. Um, yep. You got check out Addison. the Scream 3 video. Let's go. What a plug. You also got Addison Ray of TikTok. Um, and yeah. a couple of other people like Milo Mannheim. Uh, and that's about all the other actors, actresses, names that I know from that. But they all yeah. do really well. So I, I highly recommend that movie. And. Like Shay said about Hostel, it's made by the same person. Eli Roth also made this movie. So yeah. if you check out one and I mean, like it, might as well check out the other. I, I, I'm going to say, though, I was highly disappointed in the Thanksgiving movie. You was, really? You want to know why? Why? Uh-oh. <laughs> you know the original, like, Grindhouse trailer for Thanksgiving? They didn't have oh, that God. trailer that wasn't in the movie. Wait, yeah, it didn't have what? Um, the um the BJ kill. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, there. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah. The movie is like Shay said. The movie's based on a original trailer that Eli Roth basically made for Grindhouse back in the day. You can find it on YouTube. Yeah. So if you want to watch the original trailer, it is on YouTube. Uh, yeah, and, it's, it's even got one of the stars of Hostel in it. Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, so really good movie, and it's based off that trailer. So if you've seen the trailer and you like that premise, you're gonna love that movie. Yeah. But um, great great pick there for number three. As I said, I was only disappointed that we didn't get that kill. We got something <laughs> close. We we got that fun trampoline sequence. Um, yeah. But moving on to number two. At number two, I have Scream, the OG Scream. I bet that's on your list as well. I'll just nick that from you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, pretty much, it's a phenomenal movie. Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, my boy Dewey. Shouldn't have been done dirty. Dude, drop! Yeah, shouldn't have been done dirty. <laughs> the best. But, um, 
Yeah, he is the best, but <laughs> <laughs> but it's such a good movie. The twists and turns that the movie takes for kills are insane. Oh, yeah. Um, and you know, it's just a Wes Craven movie, and I love Wes exactly Craven Wes Craven. Yeah, there's a, like if we made this list longer, Wes Craven would have had multiple entries on this list because phenomenal yeah. director. Same with John Carpenter, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's your number two, Sidman? Ironically, it was Scream. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Oh. Um, but you know, because yeah, Scream. It's just going back to I love Who Done It slashers. That will always hold a special place in my heart. And Scream is actually technically my favorite horror movie of all time. I yeah, absolutely yeah. love that movie. Um, after rewatching it from years later, it still holds up. It's just such a really yeah. well done movie. Uh, but having to change it up, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna change it up to something a little bit different, and we're gonna go The Evil Dead, but the 2013. Oh one. yeah. Change it uh, up a yeah. little bit. You know what I mean? Because we got we got a bunch of the classics. So I'm, I'm going to bring in a remake. We don't have had a remake on here yet. So I'm, I'm going to add the remake. The original one is phenomenal. So if you, if you yeah. like the 2013 one, go check out the original because they're all fun. They're all really good. Some of yeah. them, you know, some of the later sequels, like, you know, get a little silly, but they all they're have, you know, they're, yeah, they're still good. They're fun. And the 2013 one is not fun, but it's a really well done movie. All right. Where was I at? Evil Dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So The Evil Dead is just, it's not a fun movie. The 2013 version, the first one ha has a little more fun with itself, but the 2013 one is not fun whatsoever. But it's a really good movie. And it's, in my opinion, the scariest one out of the entire franchise. So if you're going for scare factors, the 2013 one will give you that. And it's also, it's got some gore going back to the gore stuff. It has, Quite a bit of that, especially in that last act. It has a lot yeah. in that last act. But yeah. the actress that played Mia, I can't remember her name right now. I want to say it's Lily Sullivan, but I could be wrong. That might be the actress from the newest one, but I could She's be wrong. In the new one. She's an evil dead yeah. I can, oh, Jane Levy, I think her name is then. I think it's Jane Levy. But um, don't quote me on that just in case, but I think it's Jane Levy. You know, she gave a phenomenal performance. She sold that movie more than anybody else in that thing. She absolutely killed it. And for only being in that one movie of the franchise, she is like, you know, a legendary final girl in her own right because of her performance and what she had to go through during that movie. Yeah. 100%. Um, right, so my number one, I'm unsure if I'm nicking this from you again, man. But I'm, I'm probably you you probably are. <laughs> so... <laughs> I just I don't I don't, I don't even know is this guy's like I, I telepathic leak runner. Um so my number one is going to be the original Halloween. Did I? Yeah, you hundred percent saw it. Yeah. My number one's also Halloween. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> um so it's a phenomenal movie. It's so chilling and creepy. And also by the time this video comes out, Sippin's Halloween review. We'll be out. Go check that out. Um, you know, have a little candle. Let's go. Um, what a plug. Yeah. I've just been plugging your videos and sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Go Heck check yeah. out my Nightmare on Elm Street Jason Garcia review. It'll be in that, that uh, no. Speaking of classics, that is a classic. That, whatever. <laughs> yeah. That. Yeah. Speaking um, that is a classic too. So, yeah, you do got to check that out. Yeah. He asked um, the hard hitting um, questions. Um, yeah, no, Halloween, it's a chilling movie. It's so good. Michael Myers is actually scary in it. Um, like, not like, you know, not, not like I'm going to have nightmares for the rest of my entire existence kind of scary. As in, like, if I watched this when, like, I was, like, younger or if, like, I didn't like horror movies, I'd be scared of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, like, I mean, there's no real, like, it's, scary scary you're not gonna have nightmares from it unless you yeah. just get scared pretty easily but michael is scary in this one like i say in my video it's the premise of it it's just a dude in a mask killing just to kill you know that he doesn't yeah. have a rhyme or reason to it he's just doing it and that in and of itself is scary because that's something that just could happen you know there's no you know demons or ghosts or goblins or anything like that in this it's just yeah. it's based on reality something that could happen 
And it has a lot of iconic scenes, you know, specifically shouting out my boy Bob's death where he gets pinned to that door. Very unrealistic, yeah. but very iconic. 100%. And, yeah, so if is that still your number one or have you swapped it around again? I swapped it around. I'll swap it to hmm, the mousetrap. Get out. <laughs> All right, video over, guys. Thanks for watching. Sip is number one's also Halloween. I'm, I'm, I'm not having him back on after that. Until next time, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.